In this episode, we take a trip to Napa Valley, drink some wine for our anniversary, and scratch off another item off our bucket list. Now, it was time to leave San Francisco and head further north to Napa Valley. This is our ride. We figured the best way to experience the rest of our trip and take in all the California scenery was to rent a convertible. But before all of that, we needed to figure out how the heck to get this sunroof to open. Act extend part of both shade. What? Figure out how to get the drop top to open up. Complications. A few minutes later. A little longer than a few minutes later. 47 minutes later, we figured it out. Woohoo! What a nightmare. It's a tiny ass trunk. I'm trying to fit everything in this car. <laughs> Woo! Napa Let's... Valley, here we come. Let's go, baby. All right, so San Francisco to Napa Valley is just over an hour away. We punched in the GPS coordinates and we're ready to go. Now we're stopped. This is really complicated to get out of. Crazy inclines. I feel like you're on a roller coaster at Wonderland. As we made our way to wine country, we drove across the Golden Gate Bridge. It had incredible views of the bay and the city skyline. The bridge spans 1.7 miles, which allows you more than enough time to appreciate its impressive engineering. Napa Valley is home to more than 400 wineries and vineyards. Each of them produces their own unique selection of wines. This is the perfect destination for wine lovers and a great way to spend our anniversary. I'm making you do all the work, honey. After exploring the hotel grounds, it was time to do some winery hopping. We visited a few wineries before making our last stop to taste one of our favorite wines. We're here. The atmosphere of these Napa Valley wineries are really calm and tranquil. You are constantly surrounded by rolling hills and vineyards. As you could imagine, they all have tasting rooms and restaurants. We're lighting it up today. We're it up. And they also have some exclusive bottles of wine that you can try or buy before they hit the market. 
So as a souvenir, we bought a few bottles that aren't available in stores to take back home with us. It's our anniversary. And so we came to the vineyard called... Behringer. Behringer. Uh, it's actually one of our favorite wines. And just walking the grounds, beautiful landscaping. And it's the quietest vineyard. So quiet. All oh. the other ones were packed. This one's so calm and peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> It's amazing how many people don't come to Napa when they live across the bay. We're discovering a lot of people are coming here for the first time even though they live 20 I'd minutes away. I live here. This is where I'd live. Like. Very peaceful. Happy two years, baby. Happy two years. As the day came to an end and before heading back to the hotel, we needed to get a shot in front of the famous Napa Valley sign. Still shot? No. It's already started. On day five, we were ready to check off another item off our bucket list. Neither of us have ever flown in a hot air balloon before. So we wanted to take advantage of this unique opportunity. The skies were clear, the weather was warm, and everything was set to go. Watch out. Got a cow. <laughs> we made it. We made it. <laughs> and that wraps up our anniversary celebrations. In the next episode, we take a ride on the Pacific Coast Highway. We learn how to surf in Santa Cruz and finish off our trip with a sunset in Big Sur.